Hi everybody, welcome to This Way Up Travel, my name is Joe and this is not a travel video as such, this is more of a channel update but I thought I might just talk about some of the interesting projects that's been um, coming up and stuff that's been happening in the past couple of months. So I did a channel update at the end of last year on New Year's Eve and actually I really enjoyed doing that channel update, it gave me a chance to really connect with my audience a bit more on a personal level. It seemed to get well received so um, I just thought I'd do another video and I actually find myself really enjoying doing these update videos and by the looks of things there's going to be more of these type of videos on a certain type of level but I'll go into a bit more detail in a second what I mean by that. Small little celebration as well, over the past couple of weeks I've just hit 500 subscribers so I'm really really happy about that. It's uh, been just over two years since I posted my first video on this channel so I really want to talk about five specific things so off we go. So the first thing is This Way Up World doesn't exist anymore because well the channel has been renamed to This Way Up Travel. So I started this channel purely to focus on um, memories just to capture it for myself, uh, This Way Up World and This Way Up World was the idea was to do more music festival and music related type stuff as well as travel. When I first started I was doing loads of interviews with bands, music montages, uh, going to music festivals, that type of thing. But I've noticed that I've changed my interest slightly to doing more travel related stuff for this channel. So um, going forward I decided why not just rename it from world to travel. So chances are you're going to be seeing a lot more uh, travel tips, attraction guides, uh, vlogs and I'm hoping going to be doing a lot more interviews with travel experts. I've actually created a new logo as well and it took me a couple of iterations before I got my final design. If you follow me on Instagram you may have seen the different types of designs getting to this point. Um, it was actually quite interesting and kind of fun going through the different types of designs before I got to a final one I liked. I'll probably might go through a couple more iterations before I'm happy with it. This is a definitely still a work in progress but we shall see, we shall see. And I have a new blog, that's right, I have a new blog, a new website and uh, it's quite basic at the moment but the idea is to add a bit more over time. Um, I wouldn't call myself a great writer and it's not definitely not my main focus. The reason why I created a blog is because it's a problem with YouTube where once you upload a video you can't really create a new version and not re-upload it because basically it's a new video so um, some of the information can get stale over time. There's been a couple of more um, older videos where the information is getting a bit more older and I've had to update the description and I did that for a little while but it turned out to be a bit of a pain just updating the description all the time. I just thought you know what, I'd rather just update the blog with useful links, add some pictures, that type of thing. I realise sometimes when I'm researching a particular place, all these notes that I have kind of get a bit lost and um, it may not actually make the final cut. So I thought, you know what, all I'll do is I'll release the video and I'll just push these um, notes onto a separate blog and hopefully it'll be useful to somebody out there. So right now I'm absolutely loving my Instagram stories so if you go to my Instagram this way up travel you're gonna see stuff about my stories about what I'm doing in my daily life but when I went to Germany I posted quite a bit and you saw my little adventures all around Hamburg, Frankfurt and Monster. Work I'm doing, stuff around London and of course food, lots of ramen, lots and lots of ramen and of course lots and lots of street art. So if you're a fan of street art, you should definitely check it out. But the biggest project I'm really excited to get started on uh, is, drum roll, the East to West Challenge. Two of my friends, Ian and Becky, are doing this epic hike across the UK. They're going from the most eastern to the most western point of the UK mainland. It's about 800 miles or so and they're doing this journey to support MIND. I'm actually going to create a, another video detailing more about the details. It's quite going to be quite an exciting uh, project. Basically I'm playing the filmmaker. It's my biggest project to date so it should be really really quite interesting. I thought to myself you know what I should really document that journey of creating the story of creating a travel video as well. It's very Inception. So I decided I might just create a production diary just to detail my journey of creating this uh, film. It's going to be a feature film so it's probably going to be about 45 minutes to 60 minutes. It's going to be really really quite exciting actually. Um, I'm basically helping Ian and Becky, bloggers who don't really have much experience on filmmaking, um, teaching them how to film and vlog and all that stuff. And there's loads of different ways other people can help but the very first thing you should do is sign up to our Facebook group. And as always, I'm always looking for collabs with fellow travel YouTubers. 
And if you're passing by through London, definitely hit me up. I'm more than happy to show you guys around. And I am particularly interested if you're an expert in a particular field of travel. And at the moment, I'm just actually securing some more interviews. So I'm going to be covering things like um, how to stay healthy when you travel. I'm speaking to a couple of travel clinics. And also, I'm just trying to go through the process of organizing an interview with um, a girl who actually traveled around the world purely on trains. Now, I am a big fan of trains so the fact that this girl traveled the whole world on trains sounds absolutely fantastic that to me sounds like a dream holiday i myself actually did a train journey from london to beijing um, on the trans-siberian when i was going through russia and you should definitely check out this video right here it's a great video to give you some tips on how to make the most of your trans-siberian experience plus i've got a couple of story times around the trans-siberian and then on top of that i might do some other videos with friends who specialize in certain diff different types of travel i should also mention my friend darren of isaac adventure he's actually going through a process of getting a bespoke build of a camper van and it's uh, quite interesting you should definitely check out his journey on, on building it and you might actually see him on this channel a bit more often or sometime in the near future hey darren you may not know but I actually work as a freelance videographer so if you need a helping hand on your video production or you need a camera operator let me know. This is my email joe at hfproductions.online and you can check out some of this work I've done. Editing can take a bit of a long time so if you need a helping hand with editing your YouTube videos let me know I can definitely help you with my services. I just got back from Germany recently and I actually went to Frankfurt a monster and Hamburg mainly for a video conference keyframe from the lovely people who do Traverse which is a big blogging network keyframe was focusing on video production and uh, you see a bit of a move with more people doing video which to me is a fantastic thing I think that everybody should be able to do video I mean you have like an iPhone or uh, Android we have this HD video get some cheap or free uh, editing software and you can pretty much come up with some good stuff as I was mentioning, Germany, um, I absolutely kind of fell in love with Hamburg. I'm a bit of a fan of port towns uh, or port cities. And coming to Hamburg, there's just something about the uh, Hamburg where it's got like different areas. So I've got a whole bunch of videos planned that I'm going to be probably releasing over the next few months in between filming for the East to West challenge. So keep an eye out. And actually going to Keyframe has made me feel a bit more inspired to do more video content and that's probably why I'm embarking on uh, this crazy project. Um, it's just like I had a chance to see people who've never done video release a video and just see it on, on the big screen and you know what it makes me feel good to see that there's so many different types of people doing video with their different view on how to make travel videos and that diversity can only be a good thing. If you do create your own video, travel video, definitely add a link in the comments Anyway, I think I've done enough talking, so I guess I'll see you at the next video. Uh, what was I saying again? Oh my god, this is not working. Oh god, I might need a more of a cup of tea for this. A E I O U. Apparently, that's a like a vocal exercise. I'm not too sure if it works. Um, I feel a bit stupid doing it, but whatever, right?